Have you ever planted something and waited for it to grow? It seems like it takes forever. We could sit here for weeks and see almost no change. And we don't like that, do we? We live in a culture that promotes instant gratification, not patience. We want it and we want it now. Which is why I find it so powerful, the image that Jesus gives us of the kingdom of God. In the Gospel of Mark, he says, It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. In describing the kingdom of God in this way, Jesus is reminding us of two things we desperately need to hear. The first is that we are not in control. Just as we plant a seed in the ground we must wait for it to grow, so too our lives. We can't control everything about it. We don't have what God has. Instead, we must trust that God is in control, that God is the one allowing us to grow. The other part, I think even more important, is that we must be patient. Not just with God to help us grow, but with ourselves. I think all too often, we find ourselves as the protagonist in this story. That we are the man planting the seed and we wait for God to come and make it grow. But in fact, I think what Jesus is saying about the kingdom of God is the opposite. God is the farmer and we are the seed. God wants us one day to grow up to be giant trees that one day produce good fruit and shelter for all around. But God also knows that that won't happen overnight. Trees don't grow all at once. And so he nurtures us. He trims our branches when we need them, even though it may hurt. And most of all, he is patient with us. And so it reminds us that we need to be patient with ourselves. We cannot be today what only tomorrow can bring. And so I think as we approach the kingdom of God, we must always be reminded of this, that we are not in control, that God is the one leading our lives. And second, that we need to be patient, patient with God, patient with our situations, and most of all, patient with ourselves. May God grant you his peace this day. One thing you don't have to be patient for is more videos. Check out these videos from my recent trip across the country. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking here and you'll get new videos right when they come out. And of course, be sure to check out my blog at breakinginthehabit.org.